Well guys, today's video is all about prepping the soil and getting ready to do some grass seed planting. Come on and I'll show you what I got going on. Well hey everybody, thanks for tuning back in. Uh, today's project, if you guys have seen in some of my past videos, I think it was on the one I did the soil analysis check. I shared with you guys, I have one area in my front yard that I call my problem child. <clears throat> I cannot get grass to grow there for nothing. I've been working on it for two or three years. So today's a day that I am going to rip and disc it all up and we're just going to start from scratch. So this morning I'm going to grab the tractor and uh, get a ripper hooked on it. A lot of people call it a jitterbug and I'm gonna loosen the soil and turn it up and then I'm gonna do some disc work on it and really smooth it out and get it prepped. And then we're gonna do some fertilizing and grass seeding and getting ready. We're supposed to have rain tomorrow, so my timing is great. If I can get all this in and get this project done today, <clears throat> it should be great to get the rain on it tomorrow and get it to germinate and hopefully get some grass finally coming up in this one area. So guys, uh, I need to grab the tractor. I need to get some implements changed on it and get busy doing a little ripping. And so, uh, you know me guys, let's get busy. Right, that part went fantastic way better than I thought the dirt's in just fantastic condition for doing this it's not too dry not too wet just perfect uh, so anyway I'll spin the camera around and show you so it's all ripped up and next thing I'll do is go get the disc and put on it and you know a lot of people might say hey man that thing's a jitterbug that might be what they call it but I've always known them as a ripper and I'll show you why if you look you'll see all the old tree roots of whatever used to grow here years and years ago. Anyway, it just rips and cuts all the, the tree roots up and it pulls them up. And when it goes through there, that's why they call it ripping. It rips all the roots up. Anyway, I've always known it as a ripper. I think it sounds cooler than a jitterbug. <laughs> anyway, let's go change attachments. So now that we've got everything prepped with the dirt, we're ready to go on with our seeding. And I am so blessed. Uh, my neighbor has let me borrow his seeder. It is a Woods STR 60-2. Uh, this is a game changer, guys. Uh, show you real quick. 
the it has the pegs in the front it has actually uh, two sets of rollers in the front one in the back and then you have your main hopper here you feel your grass seed up here evenly on both sides and it is all chain driven there's nothing from the tractor all the tractor does is carry it and Well, hey guys, fast forward to the next morning and I was able to get all the seed down yesterday and it was right about dark when I finished up and man, about the time I'm getting the tractor back under the shed, the rain started. So boy, did I, that time and work out great on that. So anyway, I will sh uh, run a camera around for you guys. So this whole area now has been planted uh, and again, we got a good rain. You can even see it's built up a little bit in the mud. I'm definitely not going to get on it, uh, but it is in good shape. All the grass is seeded. Uh, and now today, even though it's cool this morning, uh, we are supposed to get up close to 80 degrees today. So this is going to be a great combination of getting the grass nice and wet and then putting a lot of heat on it and sunshine. Hopefully we'll get the germinated started, germination started really quick. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope y'all have enjoyed uh, me bringing you the working with the ripper, working with a disc, and then working with the seed planter. Uh, those are really cool implements. Guys, if you enjoy seeing these type of equipment uh, doing, be sure uh, I'm going to do an end screen here. And uh, also I have a core plugger that I've used uh, that pulls out little plugs of dirt about this, this big and you know about as big around as your finger and that's a cool implement to use and that helps with oxygenation of your yard as well i'll include that here in the end screen so be sure to check that out and guys thanks so much for watching remember here at project next one there's always one more and uh, guys there'll be another project coming so be sure and grab the notifier so you'll be sure not to miss one other quick note is i have been doing shorts now and i've got quite a few of them up and i try to do as many of them uh, during the week as i can uh, but it all depends on work schedule but anyway those have been doing really well so be sure to check those out too anyway guys thanks so much take care and we'll catch you later <music>